Moon World Films. Hello, East Inner Forest here. Today I'm going to be listening to Ram by Paul and Linda McCartney. This album was released on May 17th, 1971 on Apple Records. This was the only Paul McCartney album credited to Paul and Linda McCartney. Ram had a unfavorable reaction from music critics. However, the reaction was unfavorable for the album uh, it still charted very well. The first song on the album is one of my favorite songs. It's called Too Many People. Some of the lyrics in this song were perceived, perceived neg negatively by John Lennon. The other song that John Lennon particularly didn't like for some reason was Backseat of My Car. Apparently there was some sort of um, disagreement or dislike in the lyrics. Interestingly, a few months after Paul McCartney recorded the Ram album, he went and recorded this album called Thrillington, which is an instrumental version of Ram. The uh, Thrillington album was not released until 1977, and uh, though it was recorded in 71, I, I'm not particularly sure why it was held back, but uh, it was released under the pseudonym Percy Thrills Thrillington. You can see here it says, uh, produced by Percy Thrills Thrillington. As I said before, the critics, critics didn't particularly like this album at the time in 1971. Um, John Lennon particularly said it was Muzak to my ears and Muzak is kind of like a, um, a it's spelled M-U-Z-A-K which is kind of a, uh, a nod to like boring music I guess. Ringo was asked about uh, Paul McCartney's Ram album and he said I feel sad about Paul's album I don't think there's one good tune on the last one Ram he seems to be going strange I find that Ringo comment to be a, a bit sad. I don't know. Like, what was going on in the 1971 with the other Beatles? And maybe there's just a lot of... Uh, they didn't really like Paul at the time, maybe. In the year 2020, uh, Ram was named uh, one of the greatest albums of all time. And it was put as number 450 on that list. Or one of the greatest 500 albums yeah that's it this song is called uncle albert admiral haley interestingly this uh song uh uncle albert um uh, is uh paul mccartney's first number one hit song without the beatles today these days nowadays Ram is regarded as one of Paul McCartney's best albums. It has been regarded as an early indie pop album. As for me, I really love this album. It's one of my favorite Paul McCartney albums. I listen to it, you know, at least once or twice a year I put it on. It's great. A lot of great songs, a lot of catchy ones. One of my favorites is called Eat at Home. There's a song about a dog with three legs. The song uh, Dear Boy is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, Beach Boys-esque kind of song. Lots of vocals and harmonies. It's really fun, melodic song. Uh, Monkberry Moon Delight is one of the strangest gems of Paul McCartney's uh, recordings. It's just so bizarre, and apparently uh, Monkberry is what, or Monk, uh, is, or muck or something like that Paul McCartney's children when they were growing up one of them would stay would say monk instead of milk and they uh, that was the one of the ideas behind the, the song monkberry here's a bit of the 
inner album art. There's Paul McCartney, uh, I guess in New York, doing one of the tracks. Not particularly sure what's happening here, but I think that's Paul and Linda wearing masks. Oh yeah, this is one of the th things about this album there. On the back cover of the album, there is um, two Beatles um, doing a little activity. Here's a little picture of uh, the McCartney family on the back of the cover. So who cares what those 1971 critics said? This album is awesome. And this concludes my little mini review of the album Ram by Paul McCartney. If you like this video, please subscribe and like it and share it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more of my cool content. Also, you can check out my other cool content on these other social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Bandcamp. So, see you next time. Moon World Recordings by Schneider Forest.